Hello and welcome back. We're still in troll country at the moment. I've done quite a few things um, while I wasn't recording. Uh, I've made some notes on some things that I did that uh, relate to quests that I started in other videos. Uh, one of them was about the uh, the necromancer in Aldorf that um, we had to kill and he was a bit too hard at the time. So I went back and finished him uh, and there was actually no follow-up to that uh, quest so that was the end of that um, one of the Kramer people here the last name Kramer uh, wanted me to find his brother in Aldorf and I did find him and he was near the sewer and I would have bet money on it that um, it would lead to another sewer quest but actually it didn't it simply didn't have a follow-up follow -up quest either the um, the character kind of informed me that he was planning to stay behind to uh, also uh, fight rats, I believe. So yeah, that was kind of the end of that. And um, yeah, let's go. So I've got a, quite a bit of new gear. That is because yesterday um, I got a group together. I was, was invited into a group. And we went ahead and did the um, um, kind of the quest that was related to these public quests that I had to basically solo my way through over here. And then later on I had to go to this one I believe. And yeah, we're probably at a point now since the max level at this area is level 15. Yeah, you really can't be soloing those anymore. These ones I could once I was level 15 with these ones I couldn't probably I didn't try but I yeah, really don't think so um, so yeah we got a group together and we kind of knocked them out all the, uh, one after the other and then I don't really know the, the um, sequence it, it goes in because I think it started here and then we had to go here and then we had to go here and then we had to go maybe here and then we went here we went here we went one of these places yeah now we're done the next one is all the way over here so I'm glad to be done with uh, with those so this is both troll country I guess so yeah I got a bit of uh, I'm now rank 8 18 and I got some new gear so I've got uh, quite a bit of new stuff that actually has a it, the graphics have changed a bit of my armor and it really seems to me that uh, this game uses a bit of a um, maybe later on there will be actually unique armor but so far it's more of a, a tiered armor system where um, kind of everything below a certain level uh, looks a certain way and now we're getting in armor that is like maybe between rank 10 and 20 for instance and now it kind of looks like this and then maybe later on it, it changes up a bit again um, but yeah on the website they do um, talk about transmog, transmog contests so there, there probably are um, more unique armors so yeah but for now early levels it's a bit uh, it's a bit meager let's say um, I think there was somebody walking around here that had a quest to complete. I don't see him anymore. Nope. Hmm. Might have been... Might have been um, a traveler that... Uh, one of those quests that you just need to kill 25 wolves or something like that. Um, I did kind of organize my quests up a bit so this is just a quest that we need to do in this area but I'm probably still just gonna yeah the little wings should have keep a lookout for those they simply need food yeah that was the brother that asked us to find his brother Edmund asked us to find Siegfried the greater of evils 
Oh yeah, he also wants us to go to Felder, which I believe is here. Yeah, Felder Castle. Which I did pass by when we did all the uh, public quests, but I kind of swerved around to it and really didn't speak to anyone. Uh, we weren't uh, meant to yet. Leatherwing bat. This is a new ability, I believe. Shining blade. No, I probably already had that. Level 14. Your shining blade slices into your opponent for 147 damage. 147 damage. For the next 5 seconds, shining blade will cause an additional 63 elemental damage on the next damaging attack. Made by everyone in your group within 100 feet of you. Alright, well, we're getting. Well, hang on. I can butcher those. So, yeah, because we did all the public quests, I already have the influence in this area. Um, which got me. I believe these uh, braces or gloves. Yeah, and I've used the appearance, uh, kind of the transmark option for the first time because I already I don't really know if I can show that easily. Can I? Are you sure you want to remove this item's appearance? The current appearance will be lost. I don't know. Let's see, yes. So these kind of look like the old gloves that we had. But I can just, I still have them, so I can just do this, right? Yeah. So these are all already kind of your next tier gloves. But as you can see, uh, these ones don't really have any stats on them. Spiritual resistance, and well, that's maybe not too bad. A little bit more armor. But yeah, these ones have strength, toughness, and initiative. I don't know, maybe. Maybe it's not that great. Kind of going by the uh, reasoning that blue is better than white. Or maybe white is the lowest. And then green. Uh, the items will be bound to you. Sure. But what's so special about those? No idea. What's that? Storm blight boot. Uh, probably just. We are in troll country uh, anyway. Yeah, I, I also have stuff that I can't wear, uh, which I should check the wiki on how to get and how to how to be able to get that stuff. We kind of talked about it in the group. Um, I have these uh, two set items. Are they? Yeah. Guardian's Kit of Havoc. So requires recruits ward to equip. Yeah, I don't have that. Um, yeah, from what one of the party members yesterday told me is that... Um, I, I just need to do certain quests to get to get that uh, that ward, and also I need to go to the uh, the sewer probably. Seven. Yeah, people are so dire for food in this uh, area, they'll eat bat. Mm. Uh, 
I was about to mention that maybe bat was a delicacy in some places, but I was kind of... Uh, then I remembered the situation of the last few years, actually. <laughs> Come on, one more. Ah, oh, let's get one of those. Oh, there's one. Oh, another one. Yeah, playing yesterday I felt quite... Uh, in a group. It was quite hectic, for one. Uh, you have completed an easy stomach. Get a specific items and deliver them to someone in need. Hmm. Don't know what that's about. But yeah, the thing was, I was... Um, in the group yesterday, um, but that's probably because the we had a an engineer that was quite high level, um, and they are that was just madness. Because I think those I don't know if I at some point uh, the night of night of the blazing sun gets AOE spells or or attacks attacks that hit multiple targets but the engineer clearly did so yeah we were just uh, that character was just steamrolling through everything and I really didn't have any um, I was trying maybe trying once in a while to get maybe get some um, uh, taunt some enemies and kind of take some of the uh, heat but uh, yeah they were just too fast Long I couldn't fast. get in between them gravy train Scraggly things, ain't they? Wouldn't think it by the looks of the f on the faces of these folk. To you or I, the choice of eating such a thing is inconceivable. But Kramer and the other farmers have been subs subsisting on almost nothing for so long. This will be a right feast. Remember, a happy a happy populace is a lo loyal populace. So now we get one of these. Um, should we get strength for toughness? Hang on, I need to turn these on. I always forget. Uh, probably, probably toughness, but let's get strength. There we go. Um, let's... Um, Uh, item level 12, item level 15. This is probably, yeah, the best thing that I have. Whoop, didn't mean to do that. I meant to... Um, no? How do I... Nope. Uh, control? No. No. Or is that not... Yeah, this is a talisman. Bound to play empty talisman. Um, yeah, that, I believe there is a certain key combination that you need to do to open up the talisman screen, but I'm not really sure which one it is. That's just no, no. That is not. It's not Alt. It's not Control. It's not Shift. It's not double clicking. I'm really not sure. Eh, figure it out some other time. I also made a made a bit of money on the auction house selling some. Uh, some of the dyes that I had. Um, 
Yeah, there are, there are, I didn't really care much for most of the dice that I had, so I opted to s try and sell them. Although, even still, some of the dice are uh, really cheap on the, uh, on the auction house, and some of them are actually quite expensive. Uh, I did keep all the Empire dice that you get from uh, doing the public quests. Scout Baumauer. Captain Hogg has lost two scouts. Yeah, he's... Uh, discover what happened to Scout Baumauer. Alright, let's go see. Uh, we really didn't need to walk back just to deliver those uh, the bad meat, but... Oh well. Uh, let's stick to the road. Alright, oh I have my fast horse now. Which I can use actually in here. Uh, okay, it's not that big of an area. Let's see. We should have a look around here where the places kind of overlap. We can do multiple things. Ah, th we're already leaving the area again. So it's probably somewhere. Yep. Yep. Baumhauer's remains. What? You find a man wearing an Empire uniform. His skin hangs off of what is left of his torso. It appears he was bludgeoned to death and then gnawed on like a rack of lamb. Ooh. Rustling comes from the underbush nearby. A, sky shatter, a, sh a cry shatters the stillness, a half croak and half guttural roar that echoes through the hills around you. Trolls, defend yourself. Uh, continue to search for Scout Weigand. He, ma he made his way to Stormlight Hollow. Aha. Uh -huh. So yeah, we need to follow this road to get to Storm right hollow, but what we, what do we need to do over here? Tainted grain sample. Um, yeah, I seem to remember something of that. We need to collect some grain to show it to Oswin Breitenbach to kind of show him how serious things are, I believe. Something like that. Uh, situation abnormal, cultivating decay. Speak with Anders, tarnished amulet. What was this tarnished amulet about? No. Um, Tarnished amulet. Head to the fields of the Suskark Hills and investigate claims that corpses have begun walking. Deal with the re reanimated remains of Herbert Kruler and check his body for clues causing the plague. Ah, oh, yeah, I remember something like that. Let's have a look. You have discovered a public quest plague on the wind. Map point plague on the wind. Plague cart. All right. Tainted grain sample, I see. See, so yeah, 
that didn't do much. Blake Scarecrow. So you're doing, uh, doing quests in a group yesterday kind of remind me of my, uh, my time playing, well even with WoW Classic more, somewhat more recently and maybe some of it in Turtle WoW also. Kind of reminds me of, um, well as you might have guessed, I kind of like questing in MMOs and I kind of like being aware of the quest that I'm doing at the time and what, what's kind of, um, you know, what it all entails and what uh, kind of following a bit of the story in that way. And the thing is when you're running with a group um, that kind of all falls to the wayside because <laughs> there's really not any time for that. So yeah, that was kind of the, and I don't, I kind of, yeah, I don't really mind it. I mean, can't really expect people to uh, wait for you for five minutes while you read up on everything. But yeah, there was a lot of, uh, there he is, Herbert Kruler. So yeah, I kind of did all the public quests and there is some, there are quest logs. Um. Okay, that's done. Yeah, the, the, um, there are the quests that they give you do give, give you some text, but yeah, I didn't have time to read any. So it was just... Uh, Kind of your mindless slave fest. But still, I'm, I'm just really glad to have those... Um, to be done with those public quests. Because I really can't be doing those on my own. Farmer and this. And this. Alright, we need to... Um, wait, what do we need to speak to Farmer and this for? No. Situation abnormal. No. Um. Cultivating cultivating decay. There it is. Search the farms and fields in the center for farmer and us. Okay, everything on natural in the everything's on natural in this place. Take them farmers, tilling the soil night and day. It's strange. Wouldn't have taken the grain from him, but the man gotta eat. Uh, you want to search out the truth? Where does pox start with them farmers? This the fellow I bought the grain from, Anders was his name. He seemed a nice enough sort. You think he had something to do with it? Okay. Okay, so he doesn't seem to be plagued just yet. There you are. Come on, put the weapon down. I ain't with these folks, I swear to Sigmar. All I done was steal some of their grain and sell it. My farm failed months ago and I've been eking out a living by taking some grain and selling it to anyone I can. It ain't much, it ain't been much, I swear. These folks never paid me no mind before, so I figured I'd grab one one more sack of grain and make my way south. That's when I saw him. A strange looking fella, all swathed in black. He had these farmers load all the grain onto a cart and he made off towards the quarry. The strange thing is that f quarry failed long before my farm did. Stone trolls, you understand. I don't know what he's doing with it, with it there, but I, but the whole thing reeks a taint, if you ask me. Uh, you don't have to worry about me, not one bit. You got my oath. No more stealing. I'm getting out of here as fast as I can. Travel to Stormride Hills and enter the quarry there. Fight your way through the tainted creatures that inhabit the quarry. Uh, then locate the cart of tainted grain left there by the man in black. All right. Get on with it. The plot thickens. Oh, there is some. Some very pixelated uh, cobweb. No, oh, there 
there are still people around. So yeah, these farmers actually are scared. Doing the scared animation. We've had lots of farmers that sh uh, should probably be doing the scared animation, but they simply weren't. Uh, do I still need grain from you? No, maybe not. Yeah, I do. Okay. There we go. Let's go looking for that scout. Yeah, one thing that is also a bit of a shame is that the um, all the gear that I'm picking up like even though this is a bright wizard uh, hat, cap, helm, helm rope. <laughs> um, yeah, the the icon for it is is the same as as um, as the one I'm wearing. So I'm not really sure if maybe if you yeah I don't know if if all the icons are just the same. Which would be kind of weird if you were a wizard character that your icons would be looking like this. So maybe it's just the icons for armor only change if you're that actual class. Because this, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense and it's kind of uh, this, um, confusing in a way. Because this looks like something I could be wearing but then it's a shadow warrior's gear. So I actually got a comment recently, a nice one, telling me um, that they thought the game was looking pretty nice on my uh, on my end, um, and I, I'm not really running anything in particular. I'm not using reshade. I kind of mentioned it at one point. I have, I have used. Uh, uh, if you look on the website and the the install guide, it does recommend or link to a reshade that you can install for this game. And I have used that on my on my uh, other PC when I first uh, tried this game out. Uh, back then, I only got to level seven, I believe. So I'm yeah, I'm well past uh, as far as I've ever been. Um, but yeah, uh, it kind of I didn't I didn't like that reshade that much anyway, and also it kind of messed with some UI elements. It made them it it turned the op opacity up on some stuff. So it, uh, I think. Maybe not the quest log itself, but maybe the, uh, when we're getting quests, kind of the text bubbles, but they look kind of weird. So yeah, I didn't really care much for it, so I, cho I chose not to install it this time. Uh, but the thing I am use I am doing, and maybe it has some effect, but I didn't really compare it. Uh, but in the Nvidia control panel, I did turn on some um, some extra AA and. FXAA and texture filtering and all that all that jazz. So that might be why it uh, maybe looks a bit better than regular, the regular client. But yeah, then again, it might not be. Uh, I can't imagine it's it's that big of a difference. There he is. So yeah, we, we ran through this area yesterday with the group and the engineer was just, just, uh, what would you call it? Just hacking, hacking its way through everything. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's for the... Wait. Do we have a... Cultivating decay. Okay, we actually need to do some stuff here. You follow a trail of excrements... Extra... <laughs> <laughs> a trail of extremities until you come upon a shredded body of Haug's other scout. Well, maybe it, he could have lost some uh, excrement along the way, but he lost his extremities also. Um, Wigand appears to have been torn limb from limb. The sound of beating wings can be heard from all around. Shrill cries can be heard throughout the quarry and they are getting louder. Quickly return to Captain Haug in Suskark before it is too late. Okay, I... Hmm. Um, well, uh, I kind of want to finish up here first. I can't really imagine something happening if we don't get back uh, fast enough. And also, um, I haven't really seen any... I've talked about this, kind of any phasing... I really have no other, other word for it. That's kind of what WoW called it back in the day when they introduced it. Kind of phasing technology, how you could have uh, an area that... Uh, you were basically getting a copy of an area and stuff would be happening that was only relevant to you in some way. So someone else might see something completely different in an area than you would. And this would kind of help um, with uh, yeah, some narrative or some... Yeah, just uh, showing you stuff. Having, you know... Maybe some... some Grander stuff happening when you are when you completed quests. Because yeah, in, cla in classic WoW, you could um, if you did a certain quest. There might be that um, the quest giver would give you some dialogue afterwards and basically everyone everyone in the area could see it. Or you might uh, do a little walk maybe to get something for you. But yeah, that was kind of a way to if you were just uh, sitting in the inn and you all of a sudden you'd hear a certain character say a certain line then it was just like aha uh -huh, one of those uh, people over there is doing the quest so i think kind of facing technology was pretty helpful with that also that you didn't have um, npcs that were occupied um, with um, somebody's quest Are we done yet? Card of Tainted Grain. Card of Tainted Grain? Aha. Uh -huh. Yep, this is the quest we just got. <laughs> 